Today we are going to our first Queens comic party in Queens. We'll probably do a giveaway, so stay till the end because we're probably going to find a lot of comic books. Cassidy, what are you looking for? Star Wars comics. Will you buy me Fantastic Four number one? Sure, I'm not. We're having trouble finding the place, so let's see if we actually can get there. Right now, we don't really know where we are, but I'm sure Cassidy will get us there. She made it. Yes, it's a Cassidy episode. Stay tuned to the end. Cassidy grabbed some comics for another giveaway for you. This, these are for you. She picked them. These are for you. So as we said in the opening, this is our first official Queen's comic party. See, at the end, what we picked up, we got some big books at this one. We did go to the Brooklyn There was one. a lot of good stuff. This is our first official Queens party. We went to the Brooklyn party. This is our first one at Queens. We started our Queens party with a little trivia. Yes, we did a trivia contest. Let's see how we did. Okay. 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 This is a, this is a I know. Okay. Okay. Doctor Doom appeared in yeah. what? Fantastic first appearance. First appearance. Five. Okay. Now, what's the headquarters of the Fantastic Four? The Baxter Building. Right. And who was the poster? Stanley played him in the movie. Anyone? Oh no, I can find it. I know it, I just tell you. It was him, it was Stanley. Was Stanley in the movie. What was the character? Stanley. Limple? Limple? He was a postman too. He was a postman? Limple? He was the postman. What's the postman's name? I don't know his name, but it was Stanley. Stanley, okay. All right, and uh, of course, Fantastic Four. Four, 48, 49, 50 is called what? The Galactus. Right. And we all know what did the Black Panther appear in? First appearance of Black Panther. Did you want some? Is, he's a, is it 52? Yes. I sold that actually. Okay. Years and years, 20 years ago. I'll take, I'll take this one. Okay. Well, I could just bought this one last week as a matter of fact. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for so watching. Thank, thank you for watching too. Thank you. So I did win this in trivia. I went four for four, right? Yeah, he was nervous. I was. I, I didn't want. I didn't want to embarrass myself for all of you. Because then that wouldn't have made the video. It would not have. There would be no discussion of the win. But I did win, and here's what I picked out. I picked out, you know, a Fantastic Four comic out to my collection. That was fun. It was unexpected. That's what makes Queen's Comic Party so wonderful. There's all these little things you don't expect. Next, we started searching through some dollar bins at JJL Collectibles. He is an authorized CGC uh, dealer, but he sells dollar bins, so it's a nice contrast. CGC, high-priced, dollar bins, not so high-priced. And he had some awesome stuff at the convention, including a great Scotty Young giveaway. A graded 9.8 Scotty Young. It, it was fantastic. We entered it. We didn't win. <laughs> Hopefully someone who really is going to cherish it. One. I mean, he, doing a giveaway like that is so yeah, that's, always so that nice. Yeah, that was that was nice. And he also had some graded Marvel cards, which I've never seen before. 
I was definitely tempted by them, especially the Dazzler card. Um, we bought books from him, um, and then we chatted with the owner. So here's our chat with the owner of JJL Comics. So we're at Queen's Power Pro, we just went through a ton of dollar bins. JJL Collectibles. Thanks for stopping by. Thank oh. you for having dollar bins. No, thank you. Seriously, I mean, we're driven by you guys, so thank you. What's the best book you have? What's the best book you have? Oh, man, that's a great question. My best book's I not tried. here, but when I say it, you're going to be very happy. Okay, what's your best? Uh, Captain America Comics, number six. Okay. 1941, right. signed by Jack Kirby. Really? Yeah, that's at home. Oh, boy. Yes, uh, so that's probably my top. Some of my top ones are also some Stan Lee signed books. I have, uh, well, since we're CGC facilitators, we have a lot of books. You know, I like multiple, triple, yeah, quadruple. Yeah, graded and dollar bins don't usually, yeah, they usually don't... meet at a show, so. Yeah, I make sure great. they meet because uh, when we first started as vendors years ago, you know, we were buying collections and things like How that. How long have you been selling? Doing, I mean, since I was a kid selling, but professionally, I mean, I quit my nine to five to do this two years ago. Great. Yeah, my dream was to become a CGC facilitator. And how's so, it working out? Wonderful. I mean, I love it. I mean, I'm not making millions of dollars. So I can quit my job and do this. <laughs> you can. It's my scary. Wife telling me no, so. It's scary, but it's definitely something that you got to believe in yourself and invest in yourself. Uh, so that's, I Good love it. Hear. Thank you. It's good to hear. That great, great setup. Great. I love the great cards. Yeah, so that's one thing too. As a CGC facilitator, we're focusing on showing all clients, customers, supporters that you can grade anything. So we've got prints coming back. So I got prints coming back that can be signed and graded. Uh, video games, home videos, VHS. They're working on Funko Pops, magazines, RPG, video game, RPG, role playing game guides. Where can we find you online? So if there's oh, someone's watching, where can they go? JJLCollectibles.com. Thank you very much, man. No, thank you for having us. Next, we checked out some wall books at another dealer. He had some great um, stuff, including lots of Fantastic Four. So we looked at those. And I get yelled at all the time. I don't. I don't focus on the walls enough. So people comment a lot. You're not on the wall. Yeah, I don't have prices up, but it's hard to price everything. Man. What's your I best right now? What do you got up there? My best book. What's your biggest book up there right now? Uh, right I made there. a lot of four or five hundred dollar books. Probably this first Silver Age Penguin. It's like uh, a really good. It's like a set, like a seven point oh, eight point oh. Um, I mean, it's always a good one right here. FF forty nine. I just bought that Black Bolt about a month and a half ago. We got an Iron Man 1 over here, a Cap 100, Conan 1. There's some decent books up here. I got, uh, I got this guy right here. Oh, that's nice. How much is that? This I'm probably looking for like around 700. That's a beautiful copy, too. Yeah, really. Where are you next? Is that New York or no? What's my next show? My next show is uh, Woodbridge, New Jersey, the toy show. Oh, I'm not, we've, we've gone to that. Yeah, I like the Woodbridge toy show. I do a lot of toys as well. And I... I... I'm doing what you guys recommended. I'm kind of zooming in on the wall book so you can see pricing and stuff at the convention. Uh, Queen's Comic Party, the prices are the best that we've seen in a long they're, time. Oh, wait. They're so great. Yeah, they really are. All of them. Are. Really. The, every and, dealer. Go ahead. Yeah, they, they mentioned that they these conventions are for comic lovers. So the people, which we'll get into later, but the people selling are vetted and they're good people who aren't going to be trying to rip you off yeah rip you gouge off. you price gouge you prices are good and every price that you see every comic has a price listed on it every price is negotiable and oh they're so good about it they're really good about if you have two books yeah they'll lower the price a little yeah, so if, if you if you're ever in queens or you're around the new york area and you see a queen's car party uh billy does it once a month go it's because definitely worth it. a big convention i mean we'll be going to new york comic-con those conventions, you cannot negotiate. No. It's it's not negotiable because there are so many people that they know someone will probably yeah. buy it. Whereas these small conventions are so yeah. good for collectors because they're, they're not they're not looking to make thousands yeah. of dollars. And they want to get rid of their yeah. their collection and their stuff. So, so there's dollar bins, there's wall books. Uh, we also met up with Skate Man fan Ian, who had he had some great deals, and we chatted with Ian a little bit. Again, we met Ian up at Midtown. In Queens, and he suggested Queens Comic Party to us, so we have to thank Ian. This is it's it's definitely paying off for us. So here's our little chat with Ian. So we're with Ian, and everybody knows Ian as the Skate Man fan, fights with Brian. 
We saw Ian at the Brooklyn show. Now we're here at the Queen show. What do you got for us today, Ian? Half price deals. We got half price deals on all these boxes here. Silver Age to present. Moving stuff out because I have run out of space. That's it. That's, it's a recurring problem with all of us. Yes. So I'm running out of space. So that's what I got today. But the other vendors got great deals too. Carl's got a bunch of half price boxes and a bunch of cool stuff. We got indies. We got undergrounds. We got superheroes. A lot of superheroes. We got, got a lot. A lot of comics here. No, I won't say Agatha. Uh, hold on. Best book time. Cassie, you're doing a good job. Way better than I do when I hold the camera for Brian. Probably the coolest book I have here right now today. That's good. A little bit pricey for me right now, but yep. New York Comic Con is next weekend. It's next weekend, I know. I'd save some money for that. Yep. Where are you going to be next? Uh, probably back here in November. Perfect. Ian, thank you as always. You. Any skate men in the boxes that I can pick up for Brian? No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And we bought some comics from Ian, too, so when we get to our haul, you'll see some Ian comics. I bought, I believe, a Fantastic Four or two from Ian. The, the table next to Ian had some great wall books, and we were definitely tempted by The Secret Wars number 8 and a couple of, of the other books. We. Se we, me. <laughs> Secret Wars number 8 has been on my list again. I had it years ago and ended up selling it at one point, uh, early days of college. So... These wall books were absolutely fantastic. Maybe next time we'll pick up some wall books from him. All right. You got good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. And all prices are negotiable. I'm not here to take none of these books over. I am not a museum. Huh? I said our basement might as well be a museum. Hey, that's his stuff. Yeah. Uh, same deal also had some 50% off bins where we found a signed Faust number one check out our recent interview with Faust creator and writer David Quinn it was a fun one Brian's favorite episode so far the fi final booth we really took our time with had some great books I really can't believe how much Ultimate Spider-Man number one is going for it. it's 80 bucks. It's the new Ultimate Spider-Man from the Ultimate series at Marvel. I picked it up on newsstand and now it's selling for $80, which is even more than the Ultimate Black Panther number one, which is also selling for like $50. We did see a Next Man number 14. Cassidy, you know why that's important? Why? <laughs> Cassidy didn't watch our Hellboy video. You should. It is Hellboy's first cameo considered by some. It's Hellboy's cameo first appearance check out the video we discuss if it's a first appearance really or not so see if it if it is or not you decide is what's hellboy's first appearance finally we talked with the show promoter billy who is one of the nicest guys we have ever seen at a comic convention like, truly all right we're here with billy who runs this he the best small comic convention in new york probably the reason i'm going to get divorced in the next year or so because Every time I come here, I spend more money. I just, I just, I just, I, I, like, my bag is full. I have, like, 70 comics in here. We're but, a wagon place where we tell you to bring a wagon. That's what she said the same yeah, thing. She yeah. I need a wagon next time. But last time I came here, I bought X amount. This time I bought double X that. And next time I had to bring more. I, Dude, and, that, and, and Ian's deals. scary. He's like, he's like, I want to empty it out because I want to get a new collection. But his <laughs> prices are ridiculous. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, three years uh, as of August. No, Kirk, no cake today? Where's oh, no, no. We forgot the cake this time. And we had to cancel. For the first time, we canceled the show in three years. We were 63 and 1. That's great. It was like an Undertaker streak. But well, we're going to come here from now on. And it's a drive for us. We're coming from Island, but Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well okay. worth coming. We're the, trying to do something in that insane. area. But um, the problem is, is everything got staircases. And these guys okay. uh, can't get up the stairs with all this stuff. And also, we have a lot of wheelchair, um, differently able people coming right. in. So we want them to be able to come in. Go ahead, man. No. Got it. Oh. I, we got to we got to think of somewhere. There's got to be placed there because this on sound. This would be oh forget, forget it. For, we, fantastic if for you us. can't if you if we can't like uh, differently able people to get in. Yeah, we won't do it. That's that's I the rule. That's why Brooklyn we that. do a lot of shows and we do one here because there's no steps. So you we'll need some on the ground floor. We'll keep an eye out for you. Yeah, please, please, because we would like to expand this yeah. and work with all the shops out there and then make it um, second sa second Saturday or Sunday of the month here in Queens. The fourth Saturday, Sunday, one in Staten Island, one in the Bronx, and then one in uh, Brooklyn. Definitely Deep getting Brooklyn, divorced then if you do it on Staten Island. You it's move this to Staten do. Island, I'm going to have to get a second job. But you'll save money on the tolls. <laughs> and the travel. Yeah, totally. What makes you do this? Um, originally, it was COVID. Uh, we got stuck at home. Um, 
And I was like, yo, let's just meet up. We were doing a comic uh, right. comic uh, swap at a store called Anyone Comics in Crown Heights. Okay. And then I said, yo, listen, let's just do this in the back of a bar because the bars are starting to let us in there. And then it got too big for a bar. And it became overwhelming. And now we do it everything. And then we have two shows. One we work with called Hot Flips right. in Babylon, yes, Long I Island. Yes, I saw that one. That one's fun. And then we have a third show in Long Island that's not ours. It's another guy's. But they just asked us how we did. I told them everything and make it simple. Theirs is a little bit more golden age and okay. stuff like that. Ours is like everything. Yeah, everything. Like, like now we're doing cards. I and see we're that doing in the middle stuff. today that you have cards, which is great. And it looks like it's been busy in the card yeah. tables too. I'm so happy because all of these people are super positive. I'm used to older guys who are a lot more aggressive when it comes to cards. The first, when we went to the Brooklyn one, that was one of the first things we said when we looked at it. Everybody was so friendly. And it was just, it was a nice community feel that everyone is really. Yeah. This is, I've been a lot of people. <laughs> and this, I have no problem doing it. If you're good. crazy, get lost, man. That's good. Because like the cost of getting a table here is so cheap compared to other places. Yeah. I just pay for the venue. What do you charge for a table? Here it's 50 bucks. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah. And then it's all legal. It goes through my tags and all that stuff because we have a business from right. here. But uh, whatever's extra, it goes back into signage and ads and all this stuff. We have a guy who does commercials for us. It's more of something to do, and I don't lose my mind. That's great. Because that's what it's Where all about. Where can we find you online? Uh, we have an Instagram called Queen's Comic Party. Uh, we also have a website called queenscomicparty.com. And then there's a Facebook group i got to work on. I apologize. called the uh, Queen's Comic Party. i got to get better at that one. Good. And we'll see you on Staten Island soon, I hope. Yeah, I really hope. I really hope so, man. You. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, guys. I'll see you at the day. Seriously, one of the nicest guys we've ever met at a convention. And everyone there, I mean, we have some of the interviews that you guys just watched, but everyone there was so nice, engaged in conversation. Yeah. I was re wearing an Agatha All Along shirt, so everyone was asking me my thoughts on the new show, which so I had some good conversations about that. Yeah, it was it was an it's a very relaxed place, very very yeah. comforting, Not very many people, which is fine. It's it a was, small place. It's a anyway. small place. It's there's only like twelve dealers. It's it's made for comic book fans, and it, uh, it was definitely worth it. And what was the best part? Six people recognized. <laughs> Recognized him. Six people recognized him as the YouTube guy. Oh, are guy. you the YouTube guy? Thank you. It was. It was. I always love being recognized. I, I, this is why we do this. So you guys become part of our community. And when you see us, you say hello. And so if you see us at a convention, say hello. We'll we'll chat with you. But if you're in the New York City area, especially Queens, and if it's not much of a travel for you, definitely go to these Absolutely. Queens comic parties because not only are they great for getting your collections. But it is a community. They all know each other. And if we continue going, they'll know us yep. by name. I'm sure. And, I mean, they're already knowing him. Yes. <laughs> so. But it's, it's, a, it's a good community already. It's a good community already. Definitely. We're, they're hoping to move to Staten place. Island and do a show in Staten Island. And fingers across, we're going to look for a place where Billy can actually hold the Staten Island convention. We really hope it would be great for it to come here. We would definitely be a big part of that, we hope so. We'll, we'll keep you updated next time you see one check check them out online queen's comic party instagram facebook and they post when they're doing next convention definitely you know check it out if you see us there we'll be at the next one say hello now let's get into our haul cassidy can start off she has a very big haul huge as usual it's two comics two comics just in star wars that she doesn't pay for i pay for for do I get paid for doing all the work oh, of looking for two, other comics. Of course, two comics. So, <laughs> dollar bin comics. <sighs> two Two dollars. So, I'm going to start collecting this line, Star Wars. That's Hyper. IDW's, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. High Republic. So, I'm going to start collecting the series. And then I'm collecting Star Wars, their Marvel series. So... So she has 25. to make a list. She doesn't have a list yet. So at some yeah, point she's going to make a list. So that was Cassidy's super huge, huge haul. haul. And here Because I mostly just look for my dad. My I mostly just look for his. huge haul. Yes. So a I bit found different. a lot of those. And remember at the end of this video, Cassidy bought some comics for a giveaway. So we'll be doing Cassidy's first giveaway. So let's get started. First, I love Wizard Magazine. I bought Wizard it's a JLA. You know, you can comment on each one if you have something that you want to say. You are replacing Brian. Wizards 100th issue. Nice Spider-Man on the front. Looks like an Alice, Alex Ross Spider-Man, to be honest with you. Wizard number 142. We bought this one because it was a Fantastic Four cover. 
I love reading these. these. I read these in bed sometimes. Now let's get into the actual comic books. Cassie will be commenting on them. World's Finest, number 306. Introducing the greatest superhero team ever. What's their name? Swordfish and Barracuda. Huh? Swordfish and Barracuda, the well-known superhero team. Cassidy's favorite. Well-known. No, nobody knows who they are. <laughs> I've never heard of them. I've never heard of them. Who, who knows who they are? But this is their first appearance. It's trying to finish the JLA run. This is JLA 29. And it's our first key. It's Crisis Times 5. So it's a big crisis series in the JLA line. I like these JLAs. I'm going to get all of them. It's my new... Wish list, JLA 62. It's key number two. It's the first appearance of Ram Khan, member of the League of Ancients. Huh? Another one of Cassidy's favorite characters, Ram Khan. She doesn't know who Ram Khan is. JLA 74. Collecting some more war comics. GI Combat number two, number 194. I picked this one up specifically because this character reminded me of Destro. From G.I. Joe. It's the Bliss Trig Brain. I believe that's who that is. This is a Nazi cover. I can see that. That's how they were back then. This is um, Sergeant Rock on. Ar I don't even know the number of this one. Army of. Our Army at War featuring Sergeant Rock. This is issue 196. So I'm going to start collecting. If they're in the dollar bin, I will pick these up. These are from the dollar bin. Men of War number 12. You could win a Superman movie pass. Dollar bin again. Men of War 13. Starman is one of my favorite 80s comics. Goes along with the Justice League International. Starman 6. There's Blue Beetles in it, Cass. Starman 18. Static, Season 1, Number 1. This is key number 3. This is the premiere issue. This is the old school variant cover. So this is the second series of Static. Blood Syndicate, number one from the original series, key number four. This is the first appearance of the Blood Syndicate team, which is Brickhouse, Fade, Wyson, Tech Nine, Flashback, Holocaust, and DMZ. I have been looking for this and to get it for five bucks. It was only five bucks. It was a great deal. That's why I picked it up. Been looking for this for a while since we did the top 10 best-selling comics of all time. This is one of them. Batman 10 cent edition. There are nine versions of this, including our local comic shop, JHU, has a version. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. JHU, if you have one, put it aside for me. I'll buy it. Cassidy started me off on this at the last convention. Marvel Adventures featuring Daredevil. These are reprints of early Daredevil. We bought number one. This is number two. This is number three. Marvel team up 123. Another Daredevil. Spider-Man teams up with Daredevil. Cassidy found these. 149. Spider-Man teams up with Cannonball. Cage number four. Trying to finish this series as well. Cage number four. Cassidy pulled out these reprints. Marvel Double Feature at number 21. This reprints Tales of Suspense number 98 and 99. Cassidy just thought the covers looked cool. Right, Cassidy? Well, you collect Captain America. I know. So <laughs> I have a list that I look for. In this one, Captain America fights his greatest foe, the Asthma Monster. There is also a Return of the Asthma Monster. So this is a two-parter. Not sure. This was a giveaway to help kids fight asthma. Help kids fight asthma. There you go. Captain America fighting the asthma monster. That's really interesting. Strange. <laughs> All from a dollar bin so far. Captain Marvel 23. Dollar bin. Captain America 357. Baron Zemo. This is the Bloodstone. Cassidy picked up a whole bunch of new mutants for me because she knows I'm trying to finish it. And she found a bunch of keys. New Mutants 21. This is key number five. This is actually a gold key. It's a big issue. It's the first appearance of Warlock. Wow. And the first time that magic is called magic. This is a big key. Nice job, Cassidy. From the dollar bin. The, the convention actually had... The, a lot of the vendors had a lot of X-Men. Yeah. A lot of X-Men. Which... A lot of X-Men. Yeah. I don't really don't collect, collect a lot of X-Men, but, but there was a lot. Yeah. So... 
New Mutants number 42, key number six, the first appearance of Melody Guthrie, who becomes Arrow, and her entire family, the Guthrie family. This was a good one. Didn't realize I didn't have it. It's the 25th anniversary cover. This is key number seven. It's New Mutants 45. I'm trying to finish these. I think I'm down to four now, like the really hard ones. I found this one, though. She found this one. I think I need Alf and Muppet Babies. New Mutants 51. New Mutants 67. This is key number eight. The first appearance of the Intergalactic Red Tape Brigade and Spider. Sounds like a, another authority. New Mutants number 68. Key number nine. The first appearance of Dupeth. I'm assuming that that's her. No idea who that is. She-Hulk number 15. Key number 10. The first appearance of the gray She-Hulk. This was not a dollar. I think this was five bucks. Actually, no, it was a dollar. It's from a dollar bin. At conventions, though, I don't often see She-Hulk in dollar Me neither. bins. It's very it's, rare, it's, and, and been, it's one that I look for for you, me but too. rarely there. Power Pack 23, key number 11, first appearance of Yurik. There you go. West Coast Avengers, annual number one. West Coast Avengers, annual number three. There's Black Goliath. It's always a good amount of West Coast Avengers. Yes. Alpha, Alpha Flight 2. Alpha Flight 64. Oh, there's always a lot of Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight 65. Alpha Flight 113, all from the dollar bin. So if you collect Alpha Flight, don't ever buy anything other than dollar Alpha bin. Alpha Flight 122. <laughs> and now here we get into the big books. Bought some wall books, that's right. Avengers number 28, key number 12. It's the first appearance of the Collector. And Hank Pym becomes Goliath. The Collector happens to be one of my favorite villains. To get this for not $35, it was half price, is fantastic, and it's in good condition, except for, I don't know if you can see it, somebody wrote their name on top. If you happen to know uh, Don Crodlow, or God Goodlow, please uh, tell him to message us. We have his uh, <laughs> comic. Avengers number 80, another wall book. Key number 13, the first appearance of Red Wolf. Also was 50% off, so I got it for 20 bucks. A few of the vendors were doing 50% off on certain yeah. comics, so really good deals again deals. at <laughs> Queen's 287, Comic 287, 295, these are dollar bins, 302, 319, 331, that's Rage, I don't know much about him. I have to do some research on him. Cassie also found some Fantastic Four reprints. World's Greatest Comics, number 63. This is a reprint of Fantastic Four 81. This also has a very rare 30 cent variant that Cassie is going to start looking for. This is 35, 25 cents, but there's a 30 cent variant. Marvel started testing out the 30 cent price in certain areas to see how they would sell. This was one of them, not easy to find. Marvel's Greatest Comics, 74. This reprints Fantastic Four, 92. This also has a Whitman variant cover, which means it came in a three-pack. Right? Weren't we just talking to someone about three-packs? Marvel's Greatest Comics, 75. Reprints Fantastic Four, 93. Marvel's Greatest Comics, 91. Fantastic Four, 111. Marvel's Greatest Comics 92, Fantastic Four 112, The Hulk Fights the Thing. If I see anything having to do with Fantastic Four and I'm not sure that he has it. She's a good kid. I pick it up. <laughs> she She's good. Here's some the big Fantastic Fours I bought. Fantastic Four 73. This is key number 14. It's a Kirby cover and the Marvel heroes appear. Daredevil, Thor, Spider-Man. That's a good one for me. It was not it was not $15. It was half off. 82. Key number 15. The first appearance of Zor Robot created by Maximus. An inhuman. This was not 20 bucks. It was half off. This is a great looking Kirby cover. Look at how nice that cover is, Cass. The inhumans on it. Fantastic Four 102. 
Key number 16, a lot of Fantastic Four keys. We talked about this before. The early Fantastic Four, like every other comic, is a key. This is the end of ah. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby's collaboration on Fantastic Four. What year is that? It uh, should be 1960-something. Maybe 1970-something. The John Romita cover. Was, was, was Fantastic Four the, their last collaboration? Or? Probably, yeah. 114. All of these were half off, so it was five dollars, not ten dollars. Three twenty-nine. That was in the dollar bin. Special edition number one, also in the dollar bin. So there is our entire haul. It's big. It was worth the trip. I'm gonna hold it. I know. I'm just pointing to it. There you go. Haul, and then before we go, Cassidy has some giveaways. All you have to do to win these is you have to be a subscriber, number one. You have to comment on this, comment anything, comment how much you love our haul videos, comment how much you love us, comment how you wish you saw us at a convention, whatever you comment. Comment subscribe. that you're going to Queen's Comic Party next time Absolutely. in November. These can be yours. Cassidy will go through these. I'll tell you if there's anything important about them. Okay. First. And <laughs> giveaway time. Giveaway. This will be faster. First, we have Night of the Cadillacs, number one. We have Justice League, Batman vs. Guy Gardner Showdown, number five. <laughs> we have, I, but I need to look at it. Superman and the Phantom Zone Criminals. We have The Flash, number 50. Brewster Gold. I really like this. Great art. cover. 19. I lo like this cover. Some Dungeons and Dragons on the back. Newer comic. I'm actually gonna try and start playing Dungeons she and Dragons. She is. She's looking. That's why I pointed out. She's starting a Dungeons and Dragons with, group friends, with her friends. And I bought dice. There you go. And that's. I'm really. She I'm she starting plays to Dungeons learn and Dragons about D &D. too. <laughs> okay, we got Blue Beetle number five. That's a newer version newer of Blue Beetle. Version. We got. Let me drop oh. the Blue Beetle. We got the Fantastic Four. It's a four part series. So, but this is. That's a key. That's the first appearance of Ahab. So, there you go. You get a key in this one. Alright, we got part eight of Captain America Operation. Captain America 339. 399. Alright, we got Captain America 376. It's a great cover. I believe it's a Ron Lim cover, if I remember correctly. Yes, it's a Ron Lim I really, cover. I really like this Daredevil cover. But this is Daredevil 41. Key number two in the giveaway. This is the first part of Low Life. This is another key. Look at that. Two keys so far in okay. your giveaway. We got Alpha Flight 22. Also a key. That's the first appearance of Pink, per Pink Pearl. That's three keys for you. Mr. Miracle. Right, number two. Mr. Miracle number two. Also a key. That's the first full appearance of Navar. Free. Oh, that's four keys. Four keys in the giveaway. All right, four. we got Invincible Iron Man 105. It's a nice old Iron Man with Jack of Hearts in it. These these are nice covers of old Iron Man. All right, we got 106 of Iron Man. There you go. And then we got Fantastic Four number 25. Annual number 25. That's another key. It's the first appearance of the Akronauts Kang. Anacronauts Kang. And there's the giveaway. Look at that. Six keys. That's a nice little giveaway pile there for you. Dollar bin. What do you have to do? Well, all not all of them. All you have to do is subscribe, comment, and this could be yours. We, do, we have other giveaways, so check out some of our older videos. That's it. Our recommendation, go to Queen's Comic Party next time they have one. Say hello to Billy. Say hello to us. Spend your money. But, you know, thanks for watching. Love what you collect. Collect what you love. Guys, uh, am, am I still on this show? Uh, I'm here. Guys, uh, hello? Hello?